This quick video tutorial will be about using Xboot to make a bootable USB drive that has multiple different distributions on it, namely Backtrack 5 and Windows 7 PE. But I also show throwing on a couple other ISOs and writing them out to the thumb drive. You can get Xboot from the URL you see on your screen right now. The first thing we obviously have to do is fire up Xboot. After we have Xboot up, we can start dragging and dropping ISOs into its main pane. Now I've had pretty good luck with the Linux distros I've tried, namely Backtrack 5 and Ubuntu 11.04. I've also had good luck with Windows PE based ISOs. In this case, Windows 7 PE 2nd edition as built from WinBuilder, which you'll see I have some other tutorials on. If you drag in an ISO it doesn't recognize, it'll ask you for what configuration to use. For my WinBuilder ISO, I have to choose the Windows Vista and 7 only option. Once you've added an ISO, you can also choose to rename what it puts in the menu for that particular selection, as well as what submenu it's going to be under. I can put all options on the main menu by just erasing the category field for each ISO I add. If you can't find a pre-configuration that's close to the ISO you're trying to add, you might want to try using the add using grub for dos ISO image emulation. What this does is it puts the ISO on there and puts it in a defrag state where hopefully hopefully this will allow grub to redirect booting to that ISO image as though it was what was physically burnt onto the CD, DVD or in the case of a USB thumb drive just remaps everything to use that ISO to boot from. Your mileage may very well vary when you try this option. I'm using Comboot in this demo but as I recall the last time I tried this, it didn't actually function from the CD or USB when I attempted to use it. For an ISO based on Bart's PE Builder or Ultimate Boot CD for Windows, you have to use the PE option that says Windows XP only. Unfortunately, this option requires a fair amount of memory because it actually copies the ISO up in the memory to try to boot from it. But if you have the memory, it works pretty well. Before I write to the USB, there's probably two other tabs I should show you. One is QMU settings where you can actually test everything out without having to reboot your machine and also edit multi-boot USB tab which allows you to rewrite syslinux or grub onto a device. Creating a USB is pretty easy. Just click on create USB, choose the particular drive you want to write to, choose what bootloader to use. Using syslinux is recommended. Then click OK and just wait a while. I'm going to cut out part of the video so you don't have to just sit there and watch a line cross the screen as it goes ahead and writes everything to our USB thumb drive. As you can see, after we OK'd past the confirmation that said it was done, it automatically loaded up in QMU and we can see what boot options are there. I still recommend trying it from an actual machine and making sure it boots properly. Now let's say we want to add another ISO later, we can just fire back up Xboot and drag and drop something in there. As you can see, I've downloaded Gpotted. I'm going to go ahead and add it to my thumb drive. While this GUI doesn't show that I have other things already on the thumb drive, it seems to know enough not to erase everything I have on the thumb drive and to just add a new option to the boot menu. As before, I OK past the confirmation and it should load up in QMU and I should be able to see my new boot option that has been added to the menu list. Now let's say you want to change the defaults or maybe add some other options or just reorder the list. You can go underneath the thumb drive underneath boot then the syslinux directory and change the options. You can edit syslinux.cfg to change the boot order which particular option boots by default or to tweak various settings. If you want to change the background that the bootloader shows just edit the xboot.jpg in the same directory. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. Another option you may want to try is generating your own ISO based on the combination of all the other ISOs you add into Xboot. I just showed creating a boot USB in this particular video, but the options for making your own ISO and then writing that to a CD or DVD depending on size are fairly simple and straightforward. Just choose a different button. For more information on Xboot, check out its forums and of course the developer's website. Best of luck.